Hi there, Wendy here from Dress So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw Disney's Moana, so let's get started. With Moana, we're going to first start by drawing her hairline. So right here, I'm going to be drawing the center, so it's just going to be a slight curve. And then we're going to come up slightly, and then start to head down. So let's go do the same thing on the other side. So right there, start to come down. And then we're going to bring it in here with a curve. So same thing on this side. And now we can start to draw her, um, her face. So right here, about right here, we're going to start to draw a straight line down. So same thing on this side. And then we're going to start to curve it around. So there, got her face in. And so then from there, we can start to draw all the details for her hair. And so we know there's a flower right here that I've added for Moana. And so I'm gonna come about right here and draw that first. So I'm gonna come about right here and give myself a point. And this is where her the petals will start coming from. So I'm gonna come up here and draw five petals. So hopefully you've already seen the baby Moana drawing that I just posted. So this is the same thing, also has the flower right here on her hair. So then come in here with the lines. So if I'm going too fast, please just pause the video. And so then for the hair, we got, um, now we have the flower in. <laughs> now let's draw some details for her hair. So right here, we're just gonna draw some curves towards the center, we're just gonna draw some curves up and just flare it out. So some more right here. And curve it out a little bit. And let's continue this curve right here. Down. So same thing. So she has really gorgeous wavy long hair. So maybe another one here. And so then from there, let's go to the top. So go to the center, about right there. This is where her top of her hair, and we're just gonna bring it down. So, straw start to come down. Curving it a little bit. So it turns right here. start to curve it. So notice right here I didn't just draw one big curve. It's just a series of small little curves just to make it more interesting. And, um, and just start curving it more down here. But I'll do that later because I have to draw her body. So let's bring this little Moana to life. So right here um, I'm going to draw her eyes. And But right here I'm going to draw two circles. towards the edge. Right there. And then make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles at an angle. Curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. So please make sure to check out all my Moana drawings. I have Pua and I have Baby Moana. And now Moana herself, <laughs> more grown up. So there, two circles at an angle and curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. So there we got her eyes in. And so this circle here is a little off. 
Okay, so now for her lashes. So I'm gonna come out here and make them really simple. So I'm just gonna curve out one long lash, come in here and thicken it up, and then just a smaller one right underneath it. So same thing here, one longer one, thicken it, and another one. And so then from there, let's draw her eyebrows. She has really prominent eyebrows, so I'm gonna come up right, uh, right here and go draw a curve up, slant down, and come in here and thicken it. So just follow your line. And so same thing over here. So go up, and then down. Thicken it, and then come down. And so there, and now let's give her a cute little smile. So we're gonna come here and drop up a little bit and cap it off. <laughs> so there. And so um, let's um, not forget her ears because I tend, to, I tend to do that. So I'm going to come here and just draw some more little strands just to fill in some details for her hair. And let's see, another one right here maybe. And so then let's just draw a little indication of her ear right here. So go to the other side, straight across, so you won't see all of it. And so there, got her ear in. So then let's start to draw her body. So with her body, we're gonna come here, about right here, we're gonna start to draw an angle line. So come down. So that's about where her arms would be, and then we can come in here and draw the curve for her shoulders. So another one right here. And so then um, let's draw this part right here in her bodice. So I'm gonna come here and connect it. So this is about where her armpits are. So I'm gonna come in here and connect this part. And then down here, I'm going to start to draw these little wavy lines just to finish off the little top that she's wearing. And then um, come down here again, come in a little bit and draw another line that comes in. And so this is her waist right here, but it's also still continuing the angle. And so then from there, we're gonna connect it with another curve. And so I'm gonna continue this line, so we're gonna start to draw her skirt now. So I know this drawing is pretty complicated because her outfit is pretty complicated, so I'm hoping, hoping that I'm making this easy for you to follow along, not going too fast. So then from there, let's start to draw her arms. Because um, her arms are on her hips right here, so we know her hands right here. So let's start to draw her hands, her armpit right there, and it's curved. So we're gonna come down. Let's go right here. And then we're gonna bring it in. So right here, follow. So it's tapered, and then come up about right there, and down for her hand. So right here is her palm area up, down for her fingers, and then connect it. And so now we can um, draw the rest of her skirt. So we're gonna come back in here and draw this other layer, this little wrap on her waist, come out here with a little bit of a curve. Continue this angle. So everything is gonna be angled this way for her skirt. And so we're gonna draw this little wrap, comes slight angle. And then you can come in here with a little line for the, um, for the fold. It'll all come together when you see the difference in the colors when I color it. Right now it's kind of confusing on the different layers. And, oops, I forgot the two little lines on her hand. Okay, so now let's draw um, the first layer on her skirt. Well, before we do, let's continue the skirt then. Sorry about that. Let's come continue this angle line down. And then um, 
So now we can draw the first, ang uh, first layer. So let's come right here. Everything is going to start at this point. We're going to come down, connect it, and so then it has these details right here. So just draw a curve, one, two, and connect that part. And then another layer, so come in here again, and then once again it's still going at the same angle, you bring it in a little bit, and connect it. And then once again it has these things hanging at the bottom. So notice it's still at this angle. And so now let's draw this side. So this side has this one layer right here. So it's this layer right here and a little part right there. And then um, <laughs> even I'm getting confused all the different layers. So, so there's another one here. And once again, we're continuing the same angle and connect it. And it also has that thing at the bottom. The lace part. And so finally, <laughs> let's come down. Now this is the straw part now. This is the simplest part. And we're going to connect it with all these tiny, tiny zigzags. All the way across. So this is just to mimic the straw. So I'll come in there later with a, a thinner sharpie and draw all the little lines. and. Um, for the details, but before we do that, let's finish off this main detail. So for this wrap part right here, I'm going to add a little knot right there that comes out, and then part that ties off. Another layer. There. Now we have to finish her top. <laughs> so for her top, even her top has two layers. So I'm going to come about right here and draw a curve. So I'm going to pop out this part a little bit, and I'll go in there and uh, erase that with the computer, but I need to pop it out a little bit because there is two layers to this top. And then um, for some details, we'll do that. I'll do that when I color it, but let's just add a line right here. And um, now her necklace. So she has this necklace right here, and I'm going to draw first the oval oval stone that she's wearing. So right here and go in there and uh, erase that and I'm going to connect it with a curve. There. And then some details is it has this curve right here and that's about it. Um, before we muddle it up with this thick sharpie. <laughs> and so for, um, for her legs, let's finish her legs first. Okay, so we're gonna come, she's at um, having her legs kind of apart and she just has this wide stance. So about right here, I'm going to bring down an angle line. So imagine this is the center, bring it down. So angle line, tapering, bring down a heel. This is gonna go straight out, curve it in. So now this side, we're going to imagine, once again, bringing this line down, bottom, tapering it, and then for her feet, we come out, and connect it. So this is just a simplified uh, version of how to draw feet. And so nice and simple, right? <laughs> Not really. Uh. So there. Now let's draw her hands. Okay, so this hand is holding her oar. So we're going to come out right here. We're going to bring this down at the same length. So come over. Just make sure it's about the same as this arm. And can follow. And now we can start to go up. So about right here, and we're going to angle in, there, okay, so now from here we're going to start to draw her thumb, so we're going to come up right here, go up, and the 
thumb and then her fingers. So I'm going to come right here next to the thumb, draw a curve, and this is the fingers. I'm really simplifying this now. Curve it and connect it. So just two lines right here for her fingers. So she's holding this oar. So I'm going to come right, imagine this is her oar is slightly at an angle, so I'm going to come right where her hand is, go straight up, give yourself a point, and that will just help you um, center your oar. So from there, let's just, it's because it's slightly tapered. So I'm going to bring it in towards the hand, like that. And so, um, because it's a pretty long oar, I'm going to come in here with my um, popsicle stick here and just finish it off so that it's not too crooked. So about right there in her hand, I'm going to continue and stop where her feet are. So about right there. So now to finish off the oar. So it's kind of like drawing a leaf. So come straight up to the center about how big you want your oar to be and start to draw the shape. So come down. So right here I'm going to give it a little notch and continue. And right here give it a little notch just for details and continue. So I'm going to overlap her hair, but I'll, I'll delete that in the computer, erase that, and then come back in, about right there. And connect it. <sighs> so there. <laughs> and we still have her hair to do and all these details. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now let's finish off her hair. We're just going to bring it down with all these little curves all the way down. So same thing here, just come all the way down. I think this is the simplest part of the drawing. Yay! <laughs> and then um, you can just add in some details for her hair if you want. And continue it. You don't have to do that because when you color it, it's pretty dark, her hair. So. But um, that's about it. I'm going to come in here with a thinner Sharpie to just draw some little details on her dress. And um, so I'm going to come here. Let's say about right here, there's a wrap. So there's a cloth. So I'm going to come in here with some um, fold lines and maybe add some details here. So zigzags all the way across. Also do this when you're coloring. You don't have to use this. And some lines. And she has these beads right here on her necklace. And let's see. So right here, these lace things. I'm just going to simplify it. I'm just going to draw three of them. It's like these holes on each one. <laughs> so this will be one and okay so now for this um, the straw part so with this straw you can come in here with some details just with your thinner lines and just go up every now and then random lines there now it looks like straw right so there, Moana, all drawn. Oh my gosh, this was a pretty complicated drawing, but I hope I made it easy for you to follow along. If you like how it turned out, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And be sure to subscribe so you won't miss any new Jurassic 2 videos. See you later.